Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to share with you all my secrets on how I make a YouTube video. So if this is your first time seeing my face, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and found it helpful. Now let's find out how to make a YouTube video. So first up is camera equipment. The camera I'm currently filming on is the Canon 70D, that's the back of the box. This is the side we want. So I use the Canon 70D with the EFS 18 to 135 IS STM lens. This did come in a kit, so it's super handy and you save a bit of money. I absolutely love the 70D. It's got a flip out screen so I can see myself. And this lens is awesome because it's got silent autofocus. And because it's a zoom lens, I can either do like full face shots or zoom you guys in for close ups. Then the microphone I'm talking to you guys on is the Rode Shotgun Pro microphone. It just sits on top of the camera and I think it sounds great. Then for my voiceovers, I need to go get my microphone. Then for my voiceovers, I use the Blue Snowball microphone. Uh, I used to use just my iPhone to record my voiceovers. And honestly, I prefer the sound from recording with my iPhone than with my Snowball mic. It's just, this is so much handier. You literally just plug it into your computer hit record in the program and it's recording. So that's what I use. As for camera settings, I shoot in completely manual settings. So they're gonna depend on what lighting you're using and what you're actually shooting as to what your settings are gonna be. I myself shoot with natural lighting, so I am constantly changing the settings to keep up with the light. This does mean sometimes I get the settings way wrong, especially the white balance. Sometimes I'll look like an Oompa Loompa, sometimes I'll look bright pink. Sometimes I'll look a shade of green. So natural lighting can be a bit of a challenge, but I much prefer the way it looks uh, compared to studio lighting. Not to mention, studio lighting is hella expensive. So like I said, I primarily shoot with natural lighting. I'm currently sitting in front of a big window. Uh, it's probably about 1200 millimeters. Yeah, is that the standard? And I'm currently facing south, so I don't get direct sunlight or a lot of shadows either. Uh, and then I have either side of the window just two fluorescent tubes. I think they are 5800 Kelvin. I'll have to double check that and just put it on the screen here. The lights that I use are the, just trying to read them, oh, it's so bright. Osram 36 watt slash, what does that say? Sky white light. It doesn't say the Kelvin, which is like the light temperature on there. So yeah, I'll put it on the screen. Those lights are literally like $50 each. They're the same as you get for your ceiling. I just have them on my wall. Then I also have around my camera a ring light, but seriously, I've probably used this twice and I just hate it. So I just use it as a tripod stand now. The ring light I have is the DVE Store Diva Ring Light Supernova. Just reading it again. Uh, my issue with this light is that it is way too yellow. So yeah, that was a bit of a waste of money. <laughs> okay, so software. I currently have my camera hooked up to my iMac, which is right here. Uh, just with the USB to something or other cable. <laughs> it comes with the camera, and then I use the EOS utility software, which also comes with the camera. Uh, to control the settings and see myself on my Mac here. So I can simply just go to my Mac here and if it's looking a bit dark, I can change the ISO, just like this. Or if it's too bright, I can turn it down. As for editing software, I use Adobe Pro CC uh, and it is so expensive. I currently pay $90 a month for it and Photoshop. Uh, it's about to go up to $99 a month. Not looking forward to that. I know a lot of YouTubers just use Final Cut Pro or iMovie, which comes free with a Mac, but Adobe Premiere, it's so easy to use and you can do so much with it. Obviously, the more like technical you want to get with it, the harder it is to use. But for makeup tutorials, I just use really basic settings and yeah, just so easy to use. So I think that's everything. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer as many of them as possible. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys! Then for my voiceovers, I use the blue snow gun. Snow gun? What? Also, please remember to give this video a fun... Uh, what? There's a bug in here. Get out.